Hi, DF crew. Where would I be on a Monday doing my work without DF Direct on my second screen? Uh, I'd have no idea. It's the other question. <laughs> Where would you be? Next at? question. <laughs> Word without it on the screen. <laughs> That's, that's exactly where he'd be, John. Exactly. <laughs> he would be at work with, with a single screen or something else on the second screen. <laughs> anyway, he does have a question. So FSR was not long ago introduced to the consoles and has been heavily used thus far to good and ill, I think. Can you reflect on what games had to do before its introduction to maintain for FPS? And do you think it has been a good thing or a bad thing it made it to consoles when compared to the image quality of the older methods? Lastly, why can't they use Intel's XESS given it is hardware agnostic like FSR and in many cases looks better than FSR? Uh, we'll talk about the first part of that question uh, momentarily. The second part is it's not open source. Uh, it, Intel would need to package it up uh, for the developers. And secondly, if we're talking uh, DP4A, I'm not sure it would operate on PlayStation 5. Alex? It, it would not. It would fall back to their other solution. And then it would right. be, as we show, showed on the RX 5700, slower than native resolution rendering to, to <laughs> render. What? To, yeah, that's what it was. The RX 5700 ran XESS slower than native res which was funny. Like, uh, yeah, like okay. it was better to run a game at native res than it was with XCS. I wonder if we could maybe convince Intel to, to do something here. It would be cool, but I guess the concept <laughs> it wouldn't work on PlayStation is a bit of a game, you know, deal yeah. breaker. Yeah. yeah. Would... Anyway, John, the first question. I mean, before its introduction, we had TAAU, right? True, that's and true. Dynamic resolution scaling. Um, what Checkerboarding do you think was also question? there. Checkerboarding. Checkerboarding was, was Checkerboarding. Also there. Arguably yeah, preferable absolutely. in some ways. <laughs> um, but image quality wise, what do you think compared to the older older methods? I think the, the key point we've talked about in the past is that it's kind of given a green light for developers to perhaps go too low yep, on native resolution. Exactly. And FSR two just wasn't really built for that, I don't think. Yep. It's kind of been used and abused, I'd suggest. That's a hundred percent my feelings on it. FSR two when used on the PC uh, responsibly uh, at reasonable resolutions, input resolutions, looks totally fine. It's good. Yeah. Uh, the problem really is that a lot of developers have sort of used and abused it to the degree that it's not really, like to the point where I feel like AMD probably shouldn't have allowed it even. That's a well, weird thing to say. Open source is open source. Uh, you no, I, I guess it's true. It's open source. It? Yeah. Maybe they should have more strongly discouraged its use <laughs> at those because when you're feeding it such low resolution data, it just cannot cope. And it copes worse with low res than the other two solutions, but none of them look great when you're feeding it like 720 or lower in terms of like resolution counts, right? Like it's not really like an image that mm. looks awesome. DLSS can look okay ish with 720p input, but even there. Mm. And I think that's really okay. that, that's that's fundamentally the problem. They're they're abusing FSR two, and the results I think look bad. Do you think if cases. FSR two wasn't there, they would be running at higher resolutions and taking cutbacks in other areas of the visual? Possibly. It's hard to say exactly. Um, I mean, where where have we seen it? I mean, I guess it's basically when it's trying to do sixty FPS performance. It's modes. usually the performance modes, exactly. And like obviously Jedi Survivor is the big go to here for that. Uh where it's just it's an absolute mess of pixels, fizzle and noise. Uh yeah, Tekken 8 also if you use FSR two mode uh on the PC and you set the res real low, same exact problem. But mm. at the same time, the other the other issue isn't just FSR two. It's beyond abusing FSR two. The existence of FSR one has been a net loss for everyone, I think, because <laughs> it never really looks good. And I feel like it's used and maybe not. It's like it's almost just used without really considering the implications of what it does to the image. Because I don't think FSR one image results look appealing. In fact. I would sooner take a lower res, like nearest neighbor scaled image over like an FSR sharpened blurred image. Uh, it, mm. it just doesn't look great. So when I look it's back just, at we're just, yeah, sorry, go ahead. 
it's just weird to see it pop up in games like Final Fantasy you, uh, 16. Like, the that heck? was the weirdest one. <laughs> um, I have no idea what they were thinking with that one. Because it was like, especially in the, the performance mode, oh, it where it feels like it should just be, it should just be straight like 1080p max uh, resolution or something like that. And then just let the display handle it instead of dealing with the kind of the FSR one does this thing where anything that is like a single pixel detail turns into a circle. Yeah, exactly. After, after a while, uh, for some reason, I don't know, but uh, you see that, that, that look to everything. And it so does good. remind me of like old school emulation, putting oh, on yeah. the four X pixel mode or whatever. Two X S A I or whatever. One of those yeah. Modes. Oh my God. It smoothing. really reminds me of that. Yes, exactly. It modes. does look like that. It's like one of those nasty yeah. smoothing modes is what it looks like. Uh, I actually genuinely think that the checkerboarding we often saw in PS4 Pro games looks better, a lot better than that. Uh, but obviously, that also assumes a significantly higher pixel count in those cases, right? Because you were basically, if you're like doing checkerboard like 4K, like we sometimes saw, that still would have been like a 1920 by 2160 effective image in terms of pixels rendered. Uh, it's a lot more. So, which yeah. is yeah, more. It's a lot of pixels. I mean, that's why these things came along like fsr2 tsr etc i i still think maybe they've been abused a little too much and i would rather see work done elsewhere uh even if it means lowering other details to some degree because i think uh, image quality still does matter and when you're blurring it to that degree and you're adding those artifacts it just doesn't create an appealing looking image uh, mm. What, I would also still like to see FSR 2 be iterated on. That's the yeah. one thing Actually, that I'm a, a little bit disappointed with is the lack of FSR 2 iteration recently. Well, I guess they moved to FSR 3, right? For yeah, Asian. but uh, I think the big, still actually, not you know what? There. The big problem with it is I think if you, and maybe this is when they're implementing it, if you take a still shot of an FSR 2 implementation from a low res, I think it can look perfectly fine. The problem is motion. And this is where I feel like both uh, developers and consumers alike sometimes get m sort of tripped up on and some are less likely to notice it, but it's the motion that's the issue. The amount of like le the detail you lose once characters start moving through the world, especially like a third person action game, like, you know, Jedi survivor in performance mode, you can barely make out your character once he starts running. <laughs> it just turns into like fizzled, noisy pixel nonsense. It's really, really ugly looking. Yeah, it's not that's not a good look. I would love to see them tackle the movement issue. That's probably the what the, the thing that makes the machine learning aspect of XCSS so great yep, or DLSS. Yep. They handle but it much better. I would I would love to see them try and tackle that and actually say like, oh, our next version of FSR is gonna look at this issue the most. Because it is the most talked about thing about FSR two other than the fact that it's in a game. It's like, so what happens when the the screen's moving? And uh yeah, I would like to see some more episode two iteration. Yep, yeah, same. just had some uh, some flashbacks back to the uh, FSR one launch period, Alex. I, I'm totally scarred from oh, that launch. It's like, <laughs> like you know, it, it took it, basically until FSR two arrived, people were still thinking it was comparable with DLSS. It's, it's like when FSR two arrived, the discussion about FSR one just completely evaporated. You know, people yeah. actually saw it for what it was at that point, which was you know. An interesting spatial upscaler with issues. <laughs> <That's> <sighs> it. That, anyway, that was it. <laughs> ancient history, thankfully. Yes, I don't even have to think about that time period. It's great. 